we're looking at the DCT easy function, looking at uh, what's available to set, what's available to change, how you go around that. So first thing to highlight is the arrow keys, which allow us to move from left to right or from right to left because the arrows will take you that way to go to the different parameters that we can change on the front of the machine that change our weld. In this case, first option being tungsten size. Three different options for that. We go to work thickness. A variety of options. Pick the material you're working on, two mil, three mil, whatever it might be. We're in DC, so we have a couple of options in terms of what we can set the machine to understand its welding. Stainless, mild steel. We've got five different joints that the machine understands we're trying to set for. Descriptor and visual representation on the main screen. We do have some pulse function built into the easy mode. It can be left as off or, if you prefer, five different frequencies. Pulse time on and pulse amperage percentage are already preset in the background. You've then got your remote functions, so triggering action, foot pedal in this case, 40 there, and we've got two different remote facilities for the remote amperage torch devices. Finger control, 2T and finger in that case. Pedal here, back to 2T. So we've moved across the menu tree there. We've set everything. That looks good. I'm happy with that. It goes to OK. And there's our amps in the middle. We've also got a bit of information about gas flow and also cup size, helping us get the torch set up correctly and also making sure we've got the right amount of gas being delivered to the whirlpool. One other thing to note is within the easy parameters, there's also the ability to trim. So in the main dial, we can see we can go both down 10 amps and up 10 amps, giving us a 20 amp swing for that particular join. 